Hey, welcome back to my big commerce development series. It's my goal in this series to make everybody a better developer in the big commerce community and to go over what I think are best practices. In this video, I'm going over targeting and body classes. So let me share my screen and show you how to do this. So um, I have I have a series of <clears throat> body classes here that I use pretty much all the time. And, you know, these can be improved on, but this is what I use. And I want to show you guys what I use and why I use it. So if I go into layout base.html and add a class, I'm going to just paste this in here and then we will go over <laughs> what all this is because there's a there's a wad of it, right? First of all, <clears throat> I want these body classes in here so I have something at the top level that will help me target things with CSS, but also at times, you know, help me see at a glance, like, you know, what product ID I'm looking at or what, you know, customer group somebody may be logged in, for example. So I've developed a series of body classes that I just put in all the time. I, you know, I would love it if these just came standard with BigCommerce uh, templates, but they don't. So I'm going to just, I'm going to put uh, this wad of code into the description of this video, um, as well as a link to the full series, by the way. And so let's just go through this so you guys can see what I'm doing here. First of all, there's some stencil handlebars that you can use, like page underline type. And... So what I'm doing with these is I'm prepending this with the type of information that it is. So that if, if this comes out and says that it's, you know, a page template or whatever, then it'll say page type dash page template. And the reason that I have to do this is on one of the, pro well, the reason that I ended up doing this is that on one of the product, one, on one of the page templates, specifically the product page template, uh, it says like product, I think. Um, when you output it to the page, output it to the page, and there are other CSS classes that are using that term product, and so it's a little bit overly generalized. And so I found that if I just output the page type to as a body class, that it would actually create some conflicting, you know, CSS implementation. So by prepending it with page type, that makes it really super unique and. So I don't have any problem with this, like conflicting with anything. So page type dash and then stencil code for page underline type. Um, this right here is really useful if you have customer groups installed. So this, first of all, we'll say customer group dash customer dot customer underline group underline name, right? So this is the code for basically a customer group to be exposed on the front end of the page. Now I put it in dash case. Um, you'll see me use dash case quite a bit in these because that takes out any of the spaces between words and changes it to a hyphen. So it makes it nice and uh, won't, won't break it up into multiple classes, right? We want this to just end up with one class. So in this case, we have customer group dash, and then it'll say the group name, right? So if the group name is my space favorite space wholesalers then it'll say customer group dash my dash favorite dash wholesalers right so it'll all be one string right which is really nice now i surround that in an if statement that says if a customer group name exists then output it to the page right and I do that because if it doesn't exist, then you'll just end up with a class that says customer group dash, which isn't really going to break anything, but eh, it just kind of bugs me that it's not clean. Now, because I'm putting several of these, stringing them together, it's a good idea to put a space at the beginning and within the if statement so that if it exists, then it starts out with a space and then the class that you just added. Moving on to the next one, if product dash ID, same thing, space. And then product ID dash, and then it'll output the product ID, which is going to be a number. Now with numbers, like you can't, you you can't target, uh, I believe, a class that starts with a number anyway. So you have to prepend it with words, so or letters. So it, <clears throat> you can see that's kind of a secondary reason to have a prepend here, as you're outputting these. So this will say product ID dash, and then a number. And that will let you target an individual product page with CSS, which is really nice. 
Next one, if page.title. So this will output the title on quite a few pages. So page title dash. This is a good thing that you can use to target individual pages like your about us. It would say page title dash about dash us, for example. If category name, then it's going to output the category name with category dash whatever. If category ID, so categories have both IDs and names. And so the nice thing about an ID is if you want to target that individual category and say change a background color or whatever or change the title color, um, you know, the ID is not going to change, but the title may change. So if your customer updates the title down the road for better SEO, then they just broke your targeting. So it's technically better to target with the category ID than the category name. But I include both in my body classes um, just in case. And then I have one in here for brand because brands follow a different template as well. So if the brand name equals, you know, if it exists rather than brand dash dash case dot uh, brand name. So this will show up on, you know, brand pages. So there are a bunch of different types of pages, right? Um, there's your account pages, there's your page pages, your category pages, your product pages, your, you know, your brand pages. Um, you have like a whole list of them uh, right down here, right? So you have all these different templates. Oh yeah, and your blog. So you may need more, you know, um, body classes than what I've enumerated here. But, you know, including these, let, let me target just about anything else, you know, that I want to within a store with CSS pretty easily. Um, and once, once we get into if statements, having the, like the category ID and the product ID show up in a body class is very, very handy in case you want to start writing if statements that target an individual product or an individual category. So let me just save this and we'll look and see what this looks like on the front end. <clears throat> so just looking in local. So you can see right here on the home page. It says that the page type is page type dash default. Now the home page is a special category that only is applied to the home page. So it doesn't have technically a page title because it's not a page page. It's a default page, right? Now if I go into a category page, you'll see my body classes are a little bit different. It'll say page type dash category as well as category dash and then the category name which is main cat and you can see that it's dash cased it oh yeah dash case takes out the space and puts a hyphen in there it also uncapitalizes everything so everything will be lowercase and easy to target and then you can see that it also targets uh, the category id so category id dash 708 so it, you know if i wanted to target just this one page and give it a pink background or whatever then i could end up just targeting category dash 708 and doing you know background pink and that wouldn't affect any other page on the site right which is really nice so i see people do you know classes like this but then they nest them like farther down in the code just put them in the body you know because then it's available anywhere on the page really easily if i go to a page template like the about us then you'll see that this is a page type dash page as well as page title dash title right if i go into one of the products let's just go into a product so right here you can see page type dash product and then product id dash three three two nine seven so you can get really creative once you have these product IDs in here because imagine we wanted to like just prepend the title for example with something here or say we wanted to just change the you know the the title of the h1 on this one particular page to be pink so now we can say product dash blank just the h1 on that page color pink yeah, maybe it's a breast cancer awareness product. I don't know. Um, you know, we could also like do something like use a before or after pseudo class to put something else in, maybe an image or maybe whatever. You know, you can get really, really fancy with this. You know, just have the right body classes. Uh, let's see. So that's what I wanted to talk about in 
this one. Um, so I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much.